you. How are you? Nice to be here. Um, I'm basically, I'm an easily frustrated individual. Like recently, I went to go buy some t-shirts, right? All I wanted was like one solid color. You know, it took me 20 minutes just to find a t-shirt that was just like one solid color, you know? Because nowadays, all the t-shirts, they have five, like, those, like those stupid like balls to the wall sports slogans across them. <laughs> you know what I mean? They say like, like above the rim or like life short, play high. It was like some 60 pound dork standing there wearing the shirt going, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I'm crazy, I got no fear. <laughs> I think you should have the real slogans across these t-shirts like no girlfriend. <laughs> yeah. Living at home with parents. 83 Escort, yeah. <laughs> Living large. You're making 410 an hour, who's the man? <laughs> They're losers. These are the same people. They, they go out and they buy like those Air Jordans in the Shaq shoe, thinking it's gonna make them like a better hoop player, you know? Turn like 150 bucks. They got the Shaq shoe. I'm gonna be awesome, man. And they're like kicking the ball around. It's like, no, dude, you suck and now you're poor. <laughs> All right. All right. So, uh, anyways, um, went out with this girl the other night. I got fixed up because I'm a dork and that's basically how it works. And, uh, <laughs> I don't even know this woman, okay? Don't even know her, and right off the bat, she starts like telling me all these crazy stories about her life, you know? And she keeps making this face at the end of it, right? She's like freaking me out, she's like, oh my God, Bill, you wouldn't believe this, right? Isn't that, I came in late. I didn't think it was any big deal, but my mom was still up. She's like, where have you been? I was like, <laughs> Ever see girls do that? I was like, <laughs> What the hell was that in me? She's like ending every story this way the whole day. She's like, God, I'm late today. She was there with a new boyfriend. I was like, Pff. It's like freaking out. I'm like, what do I have to do? End my stories with faces? Okay, I was driving to work today. Someone cut me off. I was like. It's ridiculous. The whole day she's like, Pff. I'm going. Everybody's looking at us like. I just like brought her home like an hour earlier and her dad was like, <laughs> way to go, son. So anyways, I'm driving home from the state and I'm alone, right? I'm looking around my car, okay? I'm basically, you know, I'm looking around. I got, I'm looking, I got four doors. I got four seats. I got all this space, you know? You know what I realized? I don't need it. You know what I mean? I live alone. I don't need a four-door car. I need like a, like a one passenger, like one door, one little wiper, one little, one little spray thing. You know? Just make the rest a trunk. You know what I mean? But you know what stinks when you only need one? Is everything comes in fours. You know, like the other day I went to buy some dishes. What do I get? How much do I get? I get, I get four plates, I get four forks, four spoons, four knives, four glasses. Buy a table, I get four chairs. You know, all it is is a constant reminder that I'm alone and I'm a loser. You know? It's like, wow, look at all the chairs. How come they're all empty? Oh, yeah, I'm alone. All right. Tell you, you know what the worst are? Are, 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 uh, are the cookbooks. Cookbooks are the worst, because it's always cooking for four. You know what I mean? It's always like, you know, like, you know and I, I can't, I flunk math. So I can't divide a third of a cup, of a cup by four, so I gotta cook the whole stupid thing. And all the spaghetti, look at all the spaghetti. Why is there so much food? Oh yeah, I'm a loser. I'm a loser. They should have like a loser cookbook. You know? Cooking for one, alone and dealing with it. Recipes be like, take three peas and one carrot, put it in the microwave and cry! <laughs> so, as you can see, basically a frustrated guy. And uh, I've actually tried to look back in my life, see what the source of all my anger is, you know? Can't afford therapy, so I was like, all right, to hell with it. I'll analyze myself, it's cheaper. What the hell? <laughs> So I've actually, I've, I've narrowed this down. Basically when I was a kid, I used to have like bright orange hair. It wasn't like this reddish brown crap that you see. It was like, it was like bright orange, right? <laughs> and I, it was like the 70s, so I had this big afro. <laughs> so I'm walking around like a total loser, but I'm three years old, I just got here, I don't know I'm a loser, right? I'm thinking I'm looking cool, like, all right, yeah. So one day I put on the Brady Bunch. Remember that episode where, where Bobby washed Greg's hair? With, with that really cheesy shampoo? His hair like turns all orange? He like freaks out, like looks right at the camera. He's like, graduation's tomorrow and I have orange hair. I'm like three years old, going, what the hell's wrong with that? <laughs> My name's Billy Burry, you guys have a lot of fun. Thanks a lot.
Very funny. Billy Bird.